obviously um, a tough night at the park tonight. Um, you know, their, Tommy Vale, their starter, gave him a great start. Best, by far the best outing of the, the season for him. And uh, Luke gave us a good start, but, um, you know, really liked the fight that we showed late in the game. But we just didn't show enough fight before the ninth inning and just didn't do enough offensively tonight. They tried to help us. You know, they gave us eight free base runners, and um, we just didn't hit enough balls hard, didn't have, you know, uh, enough really good at bats that we needed uh, tonight. Um, puts a lot of pressure on tomorrow and the rest of the weekend. You know, talk to the kids going in the weekend. That you know, it was a really big weekend, um, and uh, you know, we we absolutely got to get a win tomorrow. Coach, back to back impressive starts for Luke Coleman. What can you say about his adjustment to SEC lineups? Yeah, I'm really proud of Luke. You know, I wish he had a better finish. Um, you know, we're obviously a little light on the mound this weekend, and. Um, you know, had no interest in going to the pen early tonight, and Luke's done a great job of pitching into the you know sixth, seventh inning, um, the last times out, and um, you know he's one o two pitch away from you know having a great start. So he's certainly doing a great job. Really proud of him. He's taken a huge step forward in the past six weeks, and um, he's got a really bright future. He's doing a great job. Coach, it seems like in many of your losses this season, you guys find a spark late in the game. What needs to happen for that spark to come earlier? Yeah. Well, um, You know, you tell the kids all the time, you you got to treat each at bat like it's you know tied in the ninth because college kids they have a higher level of focus late in the game or when the game's tight than they do early and middle, and that's pretty standard across college baseball. And we talked to our kids a bunch about it, and you, you know, I, I don't know if there's something deceptive about their their starter. I mean, our hitters were saying that he just had a lot more carry and ride to his fastball than. What we had seen, um, you know, and our, we swung the bat that way. You know, I thought we were very defensive and really not on the barrel. And, you know, we're we not doing a good job with our at-bats or was he, you know, the best he's been, you know, probably combination of both. Um, but look, man, you can't be chasing eight runs in an SEC game. And, you know, Auburn has had a trouble closing games out and we just pounded the kids all week. Like, hey, just keep it tight. We've got a good chance to win these games late. And um, you know, but did you chase an H, you're going to lose a bunch. Coach, one of your former players named you in a lawsuit alleging mistreatment during his time with the team. Do you have any comment or reaction to that? Yeah, I do. Gosh, I really wish I could talk about the specifics of it. I um, uh, really wish I could. But unfortunately, you know, I can't. Um, I, I really believe that we provide our student athletes with access to the absolute best sports medicine and sports psychology resources in the country. and. You know, this is the third SEC school that I've been at, and I would put our sports medicine personnel up against any school in the country and even professional organization. They're just outstanding, and um, we place a real premium on mental and physical well-being of our student athletes. So that's really all I have to say about it. Anything else? All right. All right. Hey, last thing, guys. Um, Grayson Hood is not pitching this weekend. Um, He's going to be out for a little while, so I'll get you guys some more specifics when I have that. But Grayson won't pitch this weekend, and Garrett McMillan's going to start tomorrow. So, thank you.